Assalamu alaikum and welcome to a new video uh, in the Diwani Jelly script. In today's video, we are going to see the letter Ha, Kha, and Jin. They are all the same except for the position of the point. Now we will start with four points of width to give us a guide on how to move. And for this letter, we are going to hold the pen in a slight uh, slanted way, just like we did for the Aleph, this one. So with the same one, we are going to hold the pen, but what we are going to do is to move in a two curve way. So the first curve would be the, surf, the first curve would be going to the left, and the second one would be going back to the right. And we basically put those four dots up here so that we could know how wide the head of the hat would be. Uh, so with these four points. We are going to move down to the left with a curve, then go back like this. Now, note that these four points are for the tip, for the head itself, not for the body of the hat. The body of the hat will have to extrude for five points because inside we have five points of width for the hat. So again, what we did here is we basically went down to the left, then curved back to the right. The whole width would be, as we can see here, five points, but the head would be four points. Now, after finishing this, we have two options for the hat. The first shape would be to either go down, then back and up here, like this. We're talking about the body. So this is number one. Number two, which is the curve. Number three would be going up there. Or we have the other option of going down and this move. So we've got one, then two. So we will start with the first option. And for that option, we have a five points wide body for the hat. And one point of drop down here and one point of height up here. It's kind of like the uh, thuluth in a way. So we start from here. And could you see the angle that we started up here with? It's different here. So we've got this one and we extrude from the same point just like we did with the Aleph. Now the curve, the first curve down here is sort of symmetric, it's easy. The second one on the other hand, you will have to curve the pen while going up this way to the right so that it will be smoother and higher. You will see that there's a difference between this curve and this curve, although they both go up to the same point. Now, once you reach up here, you are going to go back with the tail and extrude up here. So this move would be going back, then curving the other way around, as we can see, then coming back here and rotating the pin at the end. Now, this is the first body. Uh, with regards to the scaling here, you'll find that this is one point. This would have one point, but it's bigger than the one on the left. And here you will have two points of height between the tail and the head. There are other types that you go back just like the thuluth, which will be looking like this. You start with a normal uh, head shape. Then down here you go down, as we said. Then you would go back with the same uh, sort of move, which is the more of a wider curve to the right. But when you come back here, you will straighten the pen and you will do the thuluth shape, which is going down, basically. That one we had to go up. Meanwhile, the other one would be going uh, down where we will have one point here for it. Both shapes are used and both shapes are beautiful. Now, sometimes you would use this in order to continue writing. So you are forced to go down. Or you could use this one if you wanted to go up for an elf. Anyway, now this is the first, second, and third moves. The fourth move is done with a different uh, pen size. As we said, we need a pen that is one thickness and another one that is third thickness. So with that one, what you will do is you will go back up here. And this is the four point that we talked about. You're going to extrude from a watt from a distance like you see how it's all joined together, then it smoothly extrudes down here. And you will go up with a curve, then touch up here, then come back. 
This is the head of the hat, going all the way up, then coming back, as we can see. And here it might look clearer, because we've got more space to work with. So this one is basically a curve this way, then another curve that way, then coming back with the full thickness. This is a shape of the hat's tip, or the hat's head, the last part, the fourth move. There's another shape where you go back, and when you curve down here, you sort of end it with a circle. And there are other shapes, so you are free to choose either of them. So, this is the hat, the first shape, which is the closed uh, body of it. The second one, you will have to do something like a meme, where you're gonna go down, but instead of closing the hat, you will stop here, and you're going to add two curves. The first one is going with the hat itself, and the second one would be going out, just like this. Now, you won't add an arrow here, it's just to show you the direction. So this curve is nice and neat, then another one would follow it to go back. Now sometimes, to be honest with you, I sometimes add certain sort of swerves down here to make it look like a, uh, what do you call it, a grape uh, tree, but that's, yeah, that's just a personal thing to do. Then finally you would come back up here and you would do the move that we talked about. The head. It's not like uh, you need to use another the, the smaller pen to avoid having too much ink in it. So this is the hat by itself. Now, if it was a gym, you would add a dot here or here. If it was a ha, you would add a dot, a dot up here or here. So these three letters are exactly the same. Now, when we connect the hat and the gym and the ha, we have a certain thing which is we connect it from the top. We don't connect them from down here. We connect them from up here. And for this one, we have two cases. The first case would be normal. Let's say there was a letter coming from up here. You would stop down and the hat will go like this, just like the Diwani, and you would continue with it. So this move is taken from the Diwani, which is basically going down, stopping and taking the full thickness of the hat, the head itself, I mean. There's the other option, which is you would use the tip of the previous letter like you, you, it would be really thin, and you would use it to make the tip of the hat, the head that we saw earlier. And this way you will get this lovely shape for the hat. Now, why did I talk about those before I started to give examples? Because in the bat letter when we took it last time, we did not discuss the shapes that come uh, with letters that connect from above. Like for example, both the hat, the meme and the hat. Because I wanted to leave that for those letters when we uh, come to them. Now, if we, I had a bat and a hat, I have two options to connect it with. The first one would be going up with a the bat, then going down like a small bat, and here I'm going to lift the pin so that I will end up writing with a tip by itself. This is a bat that changed into this small thin line to mimic the hat's uh, move. Then I will come back from down here and I will continue it with the same moves for the hat that we saw earlier. And here we could end it like this. So this could be a thudj, or oh, thudj, tha, and jim. I want to talk about the connection. So again, you move up, then down, then you rotate. It's like the infinity logo, or the infinity thing, this one. Then you stop and you come back with the move for the hat. That's clear. The other shape is simpler, is easier. So you would go basically up and down with curvature that is going all the way up like this. You don't have two curves. And down here you would simply go back and finish up the hat with the, with the, like the shape of the hat. And here we could use the other shape, which is this one. So. Depending on the letter before it, you have two shapes or two ways to connect. If it was an alif <coughs> or a lam, so for example, uh, you had a lam, it will change down here into the thin line, then you would continue it with a normal hat, and here you would add the decoration. The same thing, sometimes you would use this one, stop, and simply use a diwani hat. 
just like this. Now for me, I always use this one because it's more pretty. But I could change into this one because now I can see more applications for it. So for example here, like Alhamdu. Uh, some uh, examples. So now that we've talked about how it connects before, like uh, from the right, uh, from the left it's the same thing, but this takes us back to a move that we talked about all the time when it comes to the letter Ha. So you have two options. You have letters that go up, such as the Alif, the Ha, uh, and for example the Ba. It's, it's all the letters basically, and you've got letters that are connected from the top. For example, the Meme, the Ha, the uh, the ha, the ha is for this one. The ha is this one. Uh, the ha and uh, the ra, and yeah. Now for these five letters, the ha has to have this curve in it, which is the one curving downward, then upward, because you are going to connect it later with this one, for example. A ha. If you want to connect it to a meme, you have to have this shape because the meme has to be connected from a ball. The same thing for the ha. So, for example, if you had a ha, uh, a jiha, for example, the jim would go down and it has to connect with the ha from the top, whether it was like this one or if it was the other shape. So, you need the ha itself to curve this way. The same thing for the ra. And this is a rule that we talked about in the diwani. It's the same thing, the ra. This with regards to the letters that connect from the top. Now, the other types of letters, you simply do this move. You go up, then down, then up. It is related to the letter coming after the ha, not the letter coming before it. This is why you have two shapes. This one that curves up, then curves down, or the other one that curves down, then curves up. So you have to keep a, an eye on those two. Now, we've uh, explained these things, how to connect it and how it looks, by its li how it looks like by itself. Uh, let's try an example or two to see uh, them in like clearer idea. Now, I'm going to write hajib, which is a ha, alif, jim, ba uh, word. Hajib means eyebrow. Now, you could start first with the four points that we talked about so that you could see how big of a letter it is because uh, I did uh, some mistakes back in time where the hat head is really small. So you start from here with the same angle that we talked about with the alif. You would go up and you would go down just like this. And now you can see that we've almost finished with the head of the hat. The four points are for the head. Now you know that you've finished, now you have to start to curve the other way around so that the alif would come up here, for example. This way, when you do the head for the ha, it will not uh, sort of hit the alif or be too close to the alif. So you would come down here and you would simply do the head. It needs to be a bit more curvy to the down here. Yeah, this is better. So this way, you know that you have a good distance between the alif and the ha. Because if you did not put these four points, you might end up with an alif that comes down to here and the head would stick to it. So, we started with the ha alif, now we are going to add the ha ba. And for this one, I'm going to intersect it because I want you to start getting used to the idea of intersection between letters in this script. Again, you should get used to the size of the ha, so no need to add the scale. And this here, we have a jim and a ba. So I'm going to stop here again add my uh, head for the hat as you can see when you focus and you don't speak while writing the shapes get better because you are really focusing on it uh, now the bat we are we took it and we talked about it I stopped here because here I'm going to start with the bat go down curve and come back and here you could have a dot for the jim and another dot for the bat and this is the word hajib 
which is a bit big to show all in one shot. I hope it's clear how this uh, looks like. Now, let's write something that is in a way uh, longer and in a way bigger. So I'm going to use a smaller pen for this one. I'm going to write يحتجب. So يحتجب, this is what happens when you have a word and you want to see how it looks like. You write it down. So you think, I've got aya and a ha, so I have to do this shape. You know what, I'm going to use this one because I like it. Ya ha. Then, there's a ha and a ta after it, so I have to use this shape. Now this ta is followed by a jim. So I could use this shape, the other shape of the connection. Then I'm going to use the ya ta jib. This jim, then this jim has to go back with a ba. So, you see how you construct what shapes you're going to use based on what letters are connected to each other. So using this one, I start with the with the shape that goes to curves and goes thin, then comes back. And I know that from this shape, I have to use this jim. And knowing that I'm going to use the other shape of the ta, I stop here and I immediately change the shape so that it will not affect the construction of the letter of the word. Here I'm going to use this gym and it's tricky but you could make it bigger so that it looks better. And this one is too big so I could increase this decrease the size of it. And here I'm going to make the bar a bit smaller than before because it's a long word. And there you go. You have a ya you have a ta you have a jim, and you have a but. Yeah, did you? Now let's say that you wanted to make this part filled with something. What you have to do is simply use the rotation of the hat. So this is the ya, uh, this is the hat, and you have to use this, the full size. Then take this out here and connect it to the jim. So you could fill in the gap down here. Let's try it and see how it will end up. You have a ya going down to a hat and this hat will take this shape because we are going to write the full size one. Taking your space and your time doing it. Going up and here I'm going all the way back to a ta. Now this ta I have to take it down here so that it will contain the other hat the gym I mean, and end up with a but. So this way you were able to fill in the gap next to the gym with a letter. And this is what Diwani about. You need to fill spaces with the letters themselves. Uh, try both of them. And with regards to this one, you could actually change it into the other shape if you want them to look all the same. So you came back with the uh, ha, you stopped here, you're going down, you change, you rotate, make it thin, come back and simply do the gym here. Now it's a bit hard, it's complicated for the first try, but try with the, the simple and the more easier letters. Now this with regards to the ya and the ha, if you had like uh, two ha's, hijab for example, you start with the normal ha, down to the other one, the gym. Now the gym here, you have the option of doing it thick or thin. Hijab. That's why I like this shape because it adds some some life to it. Because the other one could look the same and again focus on the idea of using this shape because it's a hat connected to a gym. Uh, so yeah you could use the other shape which goes down then back up then this shape would come back from here and you would go up and here's the head for the hat and the bar like the previous one would come down here. So you have two shapes. I prefer this one because it adds some life, as I said before. And um, this one, 
uh, you will see like a really diwani one in the diwani jelly sometimes so you would see that they would stop here and they could add a diwani shape down here the gym would look like the diwani one which is this shape with a small nudge down here because it's a diwani basically and it looks good there's nothing wrong with it but i would use this if i ran out of space or i wanted to to look more compacted uh, so yeah this is for today's lesson i hope you enjoyed it and make sure to practice these letters before moving on to next classes this has been amara Baudi. like share and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next class have a lovely day goodbye